Okay, so I'm here at the gas station at a, about to leave to Bowling Green, Kentucky, uh, putting gas in the Corvette. Uh, we are headed to the Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky, putting gas in. I'll show you right now, gas is $4.09, and that's here in, uh, in Nashville, in Tennessee, uh, for super uh, unleaded for my Corvette, $4.09. Uh, uh, that's getting pretty damn expensive. Uh, 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 let's go Brandon, how about that? Let's go Brandon. Now another thing important to do when you're headed off on a road trip is make sure you air your tire up. Make sure you got lots of air on those tires. And uh, uh, on my Corvette, um, I gotta put air in a lot because it sits a lot. So we're looking for 32 pounds of pressure. And only this one was, was low. My car actually tells me if it's low or not. And that's air in the tire, in the Corvette. Bam, that's it. Okay, I just made it here to the Corvette Museum and uh, they got Corvette parking only, just for the vets. And uh, as you see, we got uh, four vets already lined up here. We have my C7, uh, Corvette there. Then we got here, looks like a 69, 70 something Corvette. Then we got another uh, C7, then looks like a C6 over there. Uh, but look at that, parking just for, for the vets up front. And there's mine. And uh, now we're gonna go inside and see what it looks like inside the Corvette Museum. It's uh, that big building over there and it's huge. And I did not expect this many people to be here. There's like uh, a ton of people, like all this whole car lots are all full. And that's just people going into, into the museum. So it should be pretty damn interesting in here. Uh, uh, I do know that the Corvette Museum, a few years back, there was like a sinkhole and like a whole bunch of super rare Corvettes that were un unreplaceable. You couldn't replace these cars. Uh, uh, were all destroyed and sank. And uh, here we got, this is pretty cool. I guess this is uh, where people have donated to the museum. And you get all these benches where everybody's got their names and donated to make this happen. You got the American flag right there. And this is the Corvette Museum. And uh, check it out as I walk up in there. There's the entrance. And we're going in now. Let's check it out. Oh, damn. Look at this. Ooh-wee. Here are all the new vets. Oh, word. Look at this one here. Love that color there. Wow. Look at this one. Look at that blue. What? 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 Let's see what the color I like. I like this one here. That. Now that is a beautiful car. Okay, now this one started right here and it's on. And uh, you can hear super quiet. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a loud uh, sound as it's sitting there, just just idling. It's not too big of a sound. But that car right there is so. I mean, that car is hot. Look at that. That's a hot car right there. Okay, I've now entered the uh, Corvette Museum and. Here's some cool stuff. Don't know what's going on in here. Looks like a movie. Uh, I guess it's a movie about Corvettes. I like these old, old hunk of hunk of burning love, baby. Man, this is just now the beginning. Uh, here we have the workings of a 
of the inside of a first edition 53 Corvette. Um, oh, this is pretty cool. Here's uh, the Evolution, you know, uh, APOW. There we go, America. But here, C1, here's the Evolution. C1, C2, C3, C4, a C5, a C6, and a C7. Uh, C8 are the brand new ones that we just saw in there. Uh, here's some old looking car here. Uh, no idea what that is. It's an old MG Roadster. Boom. A Crosley Super Sport 1951. The first post war sports car. That was a sports car. In 1951, this is a, this was your hot rod. When you came home from World War II, that's what you got in. That was the hot rod. Wow, look at that. The spare tire in the back. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. What? The 50s. What an era. Oh wow, here we go. Look at these beauties. Here we have a, a 53, look at that, a 55, and uh, look at this, 1955, all the way down, let's check out the emblem there, that is pretty awesome, look at this. Holding a camshaft. When the Corvette was introduced in 1953, it made a tremendous impression on many Americans. Now look at this. This one's old. This one's old. Look at this. This is uh, the Entombed Corvette. Uh, it says here, it was sealed in a brick and mortar tomb. Oh, somebody, somebody encased it inside brick for a. Uh, 50 years. You see that? That's pretty cool. You see that 73 right here. I love that body style. Just, uh, what's that classic old school, you know, 1970 Corvette that you would think of. And uh, this is pretty interesting. You can see the whole under and inner workings of what's actually underneath the Corvette. Check that out. So that's what's on the inside. And look at this bad boy right here, this 67. Woo-wee! Man, that would look good in my garage. Actually, that one would probably look better. That 67, wow, that would match my, my, my 67 Camaro. Man, look at that thing. 427. Wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful car. Beautiful. Okay, this one here actually raced in Daytona. And check out the front of this. It's all beat up. You see that? This was a, an actual C7, like my car, but all raced out that raced in Daytona. And uh, it's pretty cool to see it all beat up like this. You can check that out. Look at that, all beat up. Now that is a race car right there. Wow. See, look how look how short it is as I squat down. I'm still like, still like barely underneath it as I squat down. Cars are super low to the ground. Here's that car in the race. It's pretty cool. Man, I'm in Corvette heaven. Uh, there's a good sting right here. It's pretty much like mine. It's a bit of a lighter blue. Damn, look at that one. It's got the exhaust coming out on the side. I guess these are all race cars. 
Oh, this right here was the Gran Turismo uh, uh, driving simulator car. That's what this was. It's another badass C7 Corvette. Look at these over here. Bam. Look at the red ladies. We got red ladies here, baby. Red ladies. Okay, we got an interesting Corvette right here. This is actually the first uh, rear engine prototype for Corvette. Uh, let's see what year they did this in. In 1970, um, looks kind of weird. Uh, it's a long ass right there. Um, so you can see a little bit of that interior. Uh, pretty interesting, I love the color of it. Uh, beautiful color. Um, super interesting, interesting car. Uh, super rare. Said it had a 327 in it. A two speed automatic. Wow. Two speed automatic. I don't know if I've even heard of that before. It's another interesting one over here, too. I've never seen uh, the Aero Vet. That's what they're saying this is here. And this is a uh, 1973 right there. Um, that's actually a pretty cool looking car. Uh, kind of got gold rims though. Um, makes it kind of look like copper. Uh, fairly small looking car. Um, it has a, it's a mid engine. So that's, this is a mid engine Corvette two rotor to two rotor. So that means that the engine's completely different than, oh, and it's got a, it had Lambo doors too. Here, let me get over here and see this picture of this. Check this out. Here's the, the prototype pictures. And that's actually pretty cool. Uh, look at that. Um, this is a, a beautiful car. Look at that thing. That thing is beautiful. It says here at 350 horsepower out of this two rotor motor. Um, pretty interesting car uh, to go. Now those are the two rear engines, the first kind of prototypes. And then over here we have the actual brand new uh, uh, mid engine. This is a, a 2020, the first year that the mid engines came out. You kind of see where we went from those in the 70s now to finally getting a mid-engine Corvette like that. And man, that thing's beautiful. I love uh, the CH, there, there's something else. Okay, now what we have here, this is uh, the first, one of the first prototypes in 2018 when they were developing the mid-engine. And you see uh, the, the weird uh, paint coloring job. I guess that's to, uh, to hide uh, pictures and stuff from people being able to take a picture of it. This was a development car. And um, it's pretty uh, interesting to see that paint job in real life. I've seen it uh, on the internet in photos, but it's pretty interesting to see that in, in right here up next close to me. Uh, uh, that's that prototype right there. Uh, each one of these is a little picture of somebody um, in their Corvette. And uh, every one, little bitty pictures. And then as I step out like that, it's an old Corvette. When we come in, and it's a whole bunch of little pictures of people in their Corvette. I don't know if that got blurry, but that's what it is. Now, a lot of people don't know, but this museum here had a sinkhole and a collapse in February of 2014. And um, you see a lot of Corvettes got destroyed. And um, there's a video on YouTube of, uh, of it actually happening. And uh, you'll see um, here, uh, it was all over the news and all this type of stuff. And you had these, you know, Corvettes that couldn't be replaced that, that got sunk in these, in this sinkhole. And uh, I'm about to go check out and see where it happened at. Um, if you see like the destruction that happened to some of these cars, um, 
like here this was a prototype and you want to see what kind of happened to him I think here's the video of where it happened you see that? That's actually pretty insane. And a lot more destruction. You see there. And it happened, I guess here, there's a cave underneath where they built this. And here's kind of a model of what actually happened and this cave system collapsed and then that collapsed in there. Uh, it's pretty interesting that that even happened here. Uh, here in Bowling Green, Kentucky, there is actually a lot of cave systems and uh, people uh, uh, go in there and uh, there's like a river going through and it's actually a pretty cool thing if you ever want to do that. I'm actually in the Sky Dome where, where the, the wreck actually happened in here. And uh, if we go right around here, I believe we can see some of them where it happened. Yeah, here, look at this. Okay, now there's one up there. And we still got the dust and everything on these. And oh my God, here, look at this. Oh my God, these poor cars. Look at that. Oh man. See, now that once was an irreplaceable Corvette. Look at all the ones that got destroyed here. That was a 2001. This was a ZR1 right here. This was a ZR1. Look at that. It's actually pretty damn sad what happened to these Corvettes. But they all sank like right here. They, they rebuilt all this and fixed the cave system. But um, uh, all those Corvettes got destroyed. Check out these faces behind me. All these people. I guess all these people donated. Now I did just see this Corvette here with this gold. Check that one out. Wow, that one's hot. That one's hot, baby. Oh, look at this, this poor car. Look at that. The destruction. The dirt. Oh man, here was the, the Indy Pace car right here. Destroyed, completely destroyed. But there it is next to the beautiful ZR1. Wow. Man, these cars are just way too beautiful. Man. Here's the the millionth one right here. Now all Corvettes are built right here in Bowling Green, right across the street from uh, uh, the museum. And I'm gonna go over there and check that out too. So if you bought a, a Corvette from the 80s to now, it was made in Bowling Green, Kentucky, uh, right here where I'm at. And uh, uh, what a sight to see. This is something spectacular. Okay, so this gentleman here, what's your name? Bob Douglas. Bob, uh, uh, Mr. Bob, uh, you were here when this happened in 2014. Yes, yeah, I was the guy who was taking the photographs and the video and capturing the history of So you actually took cars. the video? Yes. That we see on YouTube? Yes, right. Oh, wow. So it's kind of shaky. There's a reason for that. It was kind of a nerve wracking situation, but. Uh, oh, I bet. I yeah. bet your job, you're sitting there like, oh, the Corvettes are. Right. Oh, my God. Uh, so um, that really put this on a national spotlight. Oh, oh there yeah. is a Corvette museum. Yes. I hadn't heard of it until that happened. Yeah. I'm a Corvette owner. I love Corvettes. And uh, um, to meet you, the guy that was here and took the film, awesome, Mr. Bob. Uh, um, uh, really cool to meet you. Okay, this isn't a Corvette. But this is a very interesting car here. Uh, uh, look at that. It's got a Corvette engine in it. Uh, but this is actually a... Uh, Iso Grifo out of, out of Italy and uh, 350 horsepower to 327 uh, uh, Corvette engine 
But uh, I just think that is really beautiful. That's something else right there. Take a look at it all around. Look at those rims. Those rims are something else. Now, I'm gonna walk over here. We got a few other really nice, badass cars. Uh, this one right here. Ooh wee. Oh, honey. Look at you, girl. Look at you, girl. You got your wings up and everything for me. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Okay, let's see what this even is. This is a... Nineteen sixty nine de Tomaso Mangusta. Another another out of Italy with the Corvette motor. No. That is pretty dang interesting. Now look at this. Look at this sixty five Impala. Woo. Talk about ground and pound right there. This thing is done up. 1965 Impala. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the motor in it. Check this thing out. Ooh. Now look at the Corvette boat. You ever seen the Corvette speedboat? Look at the motor in this thing. And that's a Corvette speedboat. I'm still tripping out on this, this Impala right here. Look at that. We got another cool one over here. On the screen. Let's see what this is. Would have been 1965. The Corvette Studio was in the mother. The Sergeant Muscle, as well as the sports car, would be on the mother. All of the styling views on this car are based on 65. 1967 Bizzarini GT Strada 530. Another one came with that 67 Corvette 327. This one pumping out 420 pounds of horsepower. That's pretty good. There is one more. I don't know what the heck this car is. It looks like something off of Grand Theft Auto. It's pretty badass. Take a look and see what this is. A McLaren or something. A 2009 Mossler Photon. That thing's pretty cool, look at that. Wow. Here's another interesting one here. This is a, a 1968 Astro Vet. And if you see that right there, it looks like something out of the Jetsons or something. But the one thing I do really like is the Corvette logo on the front right there. If I can get this real quick. You can see that. That is something else. Very different, very different car. Um, now, I don't know why, but we got a Viper over here. Now, I've always liked Vipers. Uh, it's Dodge, but uh, beautiful car. I don't know why it's in here, um, but there it is. Uh, uh, and you can see the whole inside. And uh, you know, if I walk around here, they have it on the ground where the cracks from uh, the sinkhole, that crack has actually happened in this building. If you look on the ground here, you'll see as you're walking around, this is uh, the outline of where everything actually cracked and fell in. And if I walk around here, you can still see the line as I'm walking. So all this on the inside of here is everything that fell. 
this is uh, where the sinkhole happened. And uh, it's pretty cool to be in here and check this out and actually be underneath some of these cars that actually fell and, uh, and we're in, in the actual accident that happened here. Okay, I've gone back to this one. This, I, I'm in love with this car here, this Iso Grifo, a 1968 Iso Grifo, which is an Italian made car uh, uh, from the late 60s, but it's got the Corvette motor. So this is pretty much like an Italian old school American muscle, Italian muscle, Italian muscle with American engine. And um, uh, this car is just spectacular. Um, there's just something about it. Uh, I, I love the way the hood comes up like that. Uh, I love that front end, uh, that little bit of chrome, uh, uh, the chrome insignia right there. You see the the uh, the touring club Italia there. Oh man, this is just uh, that is something else right there. And I really really like that car. Um, I think that car is beautiful. Uh, Italian beauty with some American muscle in it. I don't think it gets much better than that at all. Okay, now I'm in the gift shop and I, I gotta get some stuff for, for my garage, for my Corvette. So I'm uh, looking at uh, you know a bunch of different Corvette signs and whatnot. Uh, might get a, a t-shirt or a hoodie. Um, I do like, I like this emblem here. Uh, Damn, these things aren't cheap. Uh, I like that one, yes, it's fast. No, you can't drive it. Um, let's see, what do we got here? I think I'm gonna get, You know what? I'm going to get the dad's garage. Corvette, dad's garage. And, uh, I'm going to get, you know what? I like this other one here. I like that one. It says dad's Corvette garage. I think I'll get that one instead. And, uh, Take a look around. Get a bunch of, you know, cool t-shirts and, you know, this type of jackets and stuff. You know, pretty much anything you can put the name Corvette on. Uh, they put the name Corvette. So, uh, uh, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get a magnet for the Corvette Museum. Let's see which one we wanna get. Um, I think I like that one. So, I'm gonna go with that. And uh, um, I think that's about, uh, I might get a coffee mug. Uh, I got a bunch of coffee mugs here. So, I think I will grab this coffee mug for myself. And uh, that's about it. Um, in the gift shop. You know what? I think I found a better mug than this one. Here, put this one back. I'm not getting that one. I'm gonna get this one over here. Um, just because I think this one's cooler. And it's kind of the color of my Corvette. Is that one. And that'll be my coffee mug. I like that one a lot. Okay, I, I've walked through the whole museum now. Now I'm back over to the brand new uh, uh, C8 uh, Corvettes. And I'm sold on this color here. This is probably the color of Corvette uh, that I'm gonna be getting when I trade in the one I'm in now is, is this color here. And um, if you see that, uh, uh, my other, my old Chevys, my Camaro and my, my Chevelle uh, are a reddish color, not quite this, this red. They're kind of more of a, a purple hue, but uh, this is it. This is uh, this is the one that um, that I will be purchasing. Uh, I love the rear end. I love the ass of it. Um, 
beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, we got one over here that has same color, but it's got the uh, it's got the spoiler on it. And uh, um, I haven't made my mind up if I like the spoiler or not. But the one thing I do love is this Stingray logo. You can see that right there. I love the Stingray on it. And uh, um, man, if you listen, this this blue one right here is actually started. It's on, uh, um, and you can barely, barely hear a low hum of of the exhaust. Uh, I'll walk by it, so you can kind of hear, but you can barely hear the exhaust on this thing. There you go. You hear that? Now I'm I'm sure this it roars like a lion, but right now when it's just idling, it's very low. Uh, and I think uh, neighbors might like that a little bit more. Um, I do like this gray with that bit of a, of a muted green color there. Um, uh, but these things actually have a trunk in the back too. You know, this thing pops open to show the engine, but that's actually a trunk. It's, it's small, but it's actually a trunk. And it's got the other little small trunk up top. Now, uh, uh, the brand new ones, um, have a few different things like those, like the uh, uh, the rear view mirrors opening up like that. Uh, I believe this is probably a convertible here and uh, it's just got a button where you can open and shut it. So pretty cool. And uh, go ahead and start my walk off. You see outside, there's so many people in their Corvettes, you know, driving around out here. You see as they come out, there's a guy over there in his yellow one. Uh, seems like everybody uh, this is the thing to do around here the Corvette Museum uh, pretty awesome um, you can see it right off the 65 uh, highway when, when you're coming through Kentucky uh, but you get a look around here to the front of it and uh, it's a pretty damn big building Uh, what it looks like and over here you'll see the big uh, arch thing and that's actually inside the museum where all the uh, the Corvettes fell in the sinkhole is right over there um, pretty cool they have uh, the restaurant here which uh, I would have eaten today here but it's not open and it's the uh, Stingray Grill and uh, uh, pretty cool I like uh, the seating area right over here it's got a uh, this really cool stingray logo put on uh all over this back wall and there's stingrays all through the stingray logo and that's a pretty sick looking uh, uh wall there for this restaurant that's all corvette out i mean even the restaurant itself is called stingray um there we go i wish it was open because i would have i would have eaten there and showing y'all what the food was like. But probably like any other place, attraction, the food probably sucked. You know, it's probably too expensive. But there it is, Corvette Museum. Uh, pretty cool if you're ever in uh, Kentucky or uh, uh, Tennessee in that area. It's not that far of a drive. And you get to see some historic American muscle uh, right there for you. And it's right there. And that was the Corvette Museum, living the dream, humping that American dream, like Hunter S. Thompson said. Uh, if you own a Corvette, you are humping the American dream. You are living that American dream. And uh, there's nothing more humping America than uh, uh, pressing the gas in your Corvette and ground and pounding up and down the highway. So living the American dream, here we are in the Corvettes. And there's nothing better than Corvettes, baby. Now, as I'm leaving the Corvette Museum and walking up to my Corvette, there's one thing I need to remind you people uh, uh, to do. And uh, I don't think I've mentioned it enough, but what you need to be doing is you need to be holding Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin, whatever coin you want. You need to be buying that shit and you need to be holding it. I've had this on my car since I bought this car. And, uh, 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 Bitcoin 
uh, I love, but I love Ethereum more. Uh, so make sure you do that. Make sure uh, uh, you hold, you buy and hold guys and gals. I'm Petro and I'm out.